Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a data store. I know I've already made one of these videos, but it was kind of outdated, and I made another updated script that has easier functionality. So we're going to be going over that today. But before the video starts, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. To get started, head over to server script service and insert a script. We're going to name this script database stats. Not a model, not a module script, a regular script. Uh, we're going to name this database stats. Uh, I have caps on database stats. And then you're going to go ahead and click the white arrow next to it. And you're going to insert a folder. We're going to name this folder stats so the way this data store is going to work is you'll be able to insert any value into into this folder without having to change the script so you can basically add and remove values of one's leader stats without having to edit the script entirely so an example we can put a number value inside of here and i'm just going to name this coins now, um, when we finish our script, when we join into game, it's going to put um, a new folder into our player and then add and create a, uh, a coins value. It's going to make it the same um, class, which is number value, give it the same name and the same value. The value here will be their starting value. If you want them to start with 25 coins, then that's good. But if they've already joined the game and create or, or gained more coins, then that amount of coins that they saved would load up when they rejoin the game. So this here, this value would be their default value if they've never played the game before. All right. Now we're going to start the, with the scripting. We're going to create some variables. Um, we're going to create um, a database. Uh, a database store variable and we're gonna get the service data store service so we can actually create a data store and then we're gonna put get data store parentheses with speech marks and then inside these speech marks we're going to put the name of our data store you can either just put a regular name or put a whole bunch of like kbgb it's kind of like the key to your data store if this is to ever be changed or modified your data store and everyone's stats will get corrupted unless you put it back the exact way it was it will not load and everyone's data will be reset so you don't want that but we're just gonna put testing data store pixel because why not and then we're just going to put local stats holder equals script dot stats. Now that we've got that, we're going to create a function game dot players dot player added connect. Oops. Connect function new player. This function is going to fire when a player has joined the game. And that's what we want. So you can extend that because we're going to write a lot in here. So if you need to pause the video anytime during this tutorial, it's fine. Go ahead and do so. Now we're going to create another variable in local key. You always need a key when you're creating a data store to be able to pull the player's data. So we're going to put player ID and then we're going to put two dots, put a, a space or no space. It doesn't matter. And then you do new player dot user ID. So. When you put these two dots, it's basically turning this into like a string. So, or, yeah. So our player ID, and then we're giving it a value. This value is going to be changing for every new player that joins the game. So we want the key to be the user's ID. So when we put this, um, the ID or the user ID will appear right here. So it might look something like this as their key so we use that so we can pull their data and then we're gonna do local get save equals database store get a sync key 
And then that's just, it's getting our save, obviously. It says get save. Um, so we're going in our data store, and then we're using get a sync, which basically gets the data from this data store, and then it uses our key, which is all of our player. Yeah, basically. And then, okay, then we're going to create another instance, and that would be folder. So we're basically going to recreate stats and everything in it but in an efficient way so that we don't have to change anything in this script then we're going to do database folder dot name equals player stats so this the folder inside your player will not be called stats it will be called player stats so if you're going to use this in your game make sure you call or define it as player stats and not stats this is just there to show you what it is i guess now we're going to put a for i statement which is going to go through our stats holder and get all the children which means that it's going to go through this and get all the values inside of our folder and then we're going to create a new stat for every value so we do stats dot class name so it's going through the children and then stats equals whatever they're on so if we had five in here it would start at one and then stats would equal like the first one and then it would create one and then the instance that new and then the stats um and then it's going to make the class name so we want to make a number value so we do stats dot class name so the class name of this and then it goes through again once we finish um once it finishes creating this new stat, once we're going to script some more, and then once it finishes, it's going to go through again and then do it on the second value, and then the third value, and then the fourth, and then the fifth. And it just goes like that. So then we're going to do new stats dot name equals stats dot name, new stats dot value equals stats dot value, new stats, not there, dot parent equals database folder. So like I said, it's going to go through all the values and make a new stat that has every single thing. It's basically a clone of this, but we're not actually cloning it. We're just setting it up to be exactly like it. Yeah, I, I hope you guys understand because, yeah, it'd be bad if you didn't. Um, so then we're going to do if get save. If get saves mean that if this exists, we already put a get save um, thing. So it basically means if it exists. So we're going to make a... Um, what happens if they have data player has data we're gonna do a for i statement again in pairs script dot stats get children what the oh i just pasted in the link sorry gets children do so we're doing um we're getting the children of um the stats again and then we're gonna do database folder uh, stats dot name dot value equals get save i all right so we're going in our database folder here and then getting the the name of the stats so we're going through here again and then we're going through the value and then it gets the um, this would just be like the number of st or the number of the stat so it's just getting the save so the value would equal the get save so the data that they've already saved so then we're gonna do print i stats name stats dot value this is just gonna appear once we spawn into game so that um, we know that the player's data had saved or loaded sorry and then we're gonna do save stats so this is just going to set their data or well actually it won't it will just leave it the same because we have already put our default values and then it would just save the data so they're just going to join in and save i'm going to do local stats to save equals and they're going to put two of these uh if you hold shift and hit the the buttons next to the p key you'll get this instead of um instead of these the straight ones we're going to use like the curvy ones that's to make a, a table and then we're going to type um for i stats we're going to basically do a lot of for i statements 
database folder get children do and then we're going to do table dot insert so we're inserting a value into our table stats to save and that value is um, our stats so now we're going to be able to save it just gonna and now we're gonna print again so that we know that it, it's it's saved i stats dot name stats dot value and by the way i forgot to mention this this version does not show up on a leaderboard if you do want it to show up on a leaderboard you can change this to leader stats like this and it will show up on a leaderboard but i'm just going to leave it player stats Now we're going to do database store set a sync key stats to save. And now it's setting a sync, which means that it's going to set our data using the key and using the stats to save our table. All right, then we can just move that up a bit, save some space in our script. And now we're going to we're going to create an autosave. If you don't want to do this, that's fine. But we're just gonna wait 30 seconds, so we're gonna do auto save. Audio, no. <laughs> auto save. Okay, and then we're gonna do local stats to save. We're gonna do. Actually, yeah. We're literally doing the exact same thing we did here, so you can just copy this like that just to save up some time. <laughs> And yeah, that's, yeah, okay. So there isn't that much to script left. I forgot that it's like exactly the same. All right, then we're gonna do game not players dot player removing. So this, um, this function fires when a player is leaving and we're gonna name them old player because they're leaving and that's rude. Just kidding, okay. And then we're gonna do local key. We're gonna make it the key again since this is a new function. Make sure it's exactly the same as the key you did above. Old player dot use your ID. And we're going to paste it in once again. And scoot that up. So, yep. This is the finished script, guys. So I'm just gonna show you. Uh by the way, this has to be published to a Roblox game, and you have to play it in um on Roblox as you can see it, it popped up but it has to be an actual game and when you join in the game it'll work but in your output if it doesn't show up it might say that API services are disabled and to to counter that um, I'm gonna pull up in a second but I'm just gonna explain you have to go into your the settings of your game uh, settings here you're gonna go to configure game and you're going to enable studio access to API services. This is just going to allow you to be able to use the data store in studio. So if you're testing your game a lot and you need to test in studio, then it just makes it easier. So yeah. So as you can, as you saw, our stats were in there. Uh, let's actually name it a uh, leader stat so I can show you that it'll there. See, now it pops up here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, again, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. More videos are coming out soon. Uh, uh, happy holidays, I guess. Uh, bye. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.